Welcome to Informatica support video. I am Priyanka from Informatica Global Customer Support and in this video we are going to see how to configure connection to SQL Server with Windows authentication on Unix platform. Agenda for this video, we will first see what are prerequisite to establish the connection, sample odbc.ini file configuration and some of the common errors that we encounter while establishing the connection. Feature to connect to Windows authenticated SQL Server has been added in ODBC driver version 7.x, 7.0 or later releases and Informatica 9.5.1 or later releases package these drivers along with the installer. So to establish a connection or to connect to SQL Server with Windows authentication in Informatica integration survey should be running on 951 or later releases. Following two parameters has to be configured in SQL Server DSN in odbc.ini file. First one is authentication method. This attribute specifies the method driver uses to authenticate user to database server when connection is established. If the specified method is not supported by database server, the connection fails and driver generates an error. Valid values for this attribute are 1, 4, 9 and 10. By default, this value will be set to 1 that means driver sends user id in clear text and password in encrypted format to database server for authentication for the connection to sql server with windows authentication this parameter has to be set to 9 that means on unix ntlm authentication is used for the connection. NTLM is nothing but its set of security protocols that are provided by Microsoft. And second parameter that we need to configure is the domain. Here domain is the value of the Informatica or the SQL Server database. Here is a sample odbc.ini entry of uh, 951 version. We have sp specified the driver which supports the connection and the authentication method which is set to 9 whose name And the domain. The domain is the domain of SQL Server database server. Here is a sample uh, output of SSG ODBC. We are providing DSN, username and password. If password has uh, special characters, it has to be enclosed in single quotes. Uh, some of the common errors that we see here uh, first one is login fail the login is from an untrusted domain and cannot be used with windows authentication that means that integration service a domain where integration service is running is not added to the trusted list of sql server a second error is a value was not specified for domain connection option a domain name or workgroup must be specified when using domain NTL, NTLM. This means that either domain value is kept as blank or it is incorrect. The other uh, error that we commonly see is socket closed error. This 
error can occur when username or password or some of the parameters are not correct or the protocol in which IS is sending a request is not accepted uh, by the database server. Suppose uh, if IS is sending request in SSL v3 and SQL server is accepting connections only of uh, TLS 1 protocol in that case we can see this error. That's all and uh, for more information on connection you can refer to KB article 174677. You can write feedback uh, of this video uh, to support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet at uh, the following twitter account. Thank you very much for your time.